Rolling Thunder was a legendary Cherokee medicine man. R.T. had a profound understanding of nature and the universe we live on. As subject of the book Rolling Thunder by Doug Boyd, many people from around the world sought his counsel. We taped these interviews in Carlin, Nevada before his death. To his neighbors and co-workers in Carlin, Nevada, he was John Pope, a veteran brakeman for the Southern Pacific Railroad. But his family, friends, and tribal brothers and sisters as well as hundreds of people who witnessed demonstrations of his remarkable healing power, know him as Rolling Thunder, a Native American, and heir to the traditional role among his people, that of intertribal medicine man. In other words, people should think, should change their thinking. Every thought, 24 hours a day, every word and every thought is a prayer. If you look at someone, with a hostile thought, a bad thought, you can make that person sick. You can make yourself sick because your own reflection will come back to you. So that's why when you meet someone, you should always meet them as a friend and a brother. And how you can help that person to feel, even to feel better, or to get them to smile, that's the uh, thing about it. The people need to feel free to smile and uh, <clears throat> do their own thing, their, uh, live their own life. There should be no such thing as oppression. There should be no such thing as a lot of restrictions. As long as someone don't infringe upon the right of someone else, then they should be free. They should live their own life in their own way. And they should be free not to destroy, but to create. Create like the pyramids. Create again. And to create good feeling. Create brotherhood. And that's what we talk about, that's what we think about, that's what we sing about, so that, so that this message can spread around the world of how it could be and should be, that there'll be no stopping it. means go in peace.